What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. If you've been following along with my videos and you've seen the poor trailing video, you'll know that my wife and I bought a flip house, flipped that, and then sold that flip house. One of the things that I worked on for the flip house was a mobile kitchen island. This video is going to cover how I did that step by step, start to finish. After all my materials were cut, I started pocket holing the 2x4s which would make up the apron or the frame for the full kitchen island build. I'm not the biggest fan of pocket holes and I've said that in the past, but for a build like this, they're really important when it comes to wanting to hide the hardware or screws, whatever you're using to secure the build. When you buy lumber from your local big box store, it always comes with rounded edges. And so I like to use my table saw to cut those off so that I can get a nice flat tabletop and not have to deal with any rounded edges. I don't like to use pocket holes anymore on tabletops because Sometimes they slip and you get unevenness and then I just feel like it's so much easier to not have to find the right size screw to use when you can just use a piece of wood as a dowel. I am 100% certain that this is not the best way to line these dowels up, standing them up vertically like this, but seeing as I don't have two sets of hands, this is how I had to get it done. I'm using 4x4s to be the legs of the kitchen island. I really like the chunkiness of them and how big and bulky they look because it's real farmhouse style. I'm just using my cross cut sled here to create a recess for the uh, base of the kitchen island. A 2x4 will fit in the slot that I'm cutting out here. It'll be a nice design feature and it'll make the base of the kitchen island a whole lot stronger as well. kind of a repetitive process but the way it works is you mark your lines for all the materials that you want to take out and then you just repeatedly run that over the table saw then if you want you can clean it up with a chisel or you can take it to the table saw again and, and smooth out the inside edges
I like to use the chisel to get out as much of the waste that I can and then I'll take it back to the table saw to clean out and smooth up the inside. After all my wood is cut to size, the pocket holes are done, the slots are made for the base, all that is left is to put everything together. That is the fun part. These are the two boards that'll go into the recesses that I cut on my table saw. I'm just pre-drilling holes here so that whenever I do put screws through, I can hide those screws with a dowel. While the glue was setting on the base of the kitchen island, I came back to the tabletop to get it finished up. The first thing I did was take my card scraper to the top to level out any high spots that the table might have, and then I used my AccuCut and circular saw to cut off all the excess wood and give a nice straight edge. I'm using simple pine 1x4s to create a shelf at the bottom of the kitchen island and these pine 1x4s will sit on top of the 2x4s that are resting in the recesses at the base of the island.
to attach the base to the tabletop, I just drilled straight in through the aprons or the 2x4s so that I could drive screws right into the tabletop. It's not fancy by any means, but it gets the job done and it doesn't show any holes or hardware anywhere at all. As an added touch and just to really set the kitchen island off, I went ahead and bought casters for it. I could have stopped right before this step and left it exactly the way it was, but I really like the idea of having it mobile because it is smaller for a smaller space, so being able to move it out of the way or move it to wherever you want to use it feels like the greatest idea to me. Shout out to the wifey for being awesome and finishing this with poly for me. Usually I stain most of my projects, but we thought it would look nice and match the countertops to just go straight poly. I know that some of you guys were on the fence whether or not you should like this video and subscribe to this channel, but I added this clip right here to make it impossible for you not to do those two things. Alright guys, that's the end of my video. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching. Recently, I was being a nerd and reading my analytics, and it said that 96% of my viewers are not subscribers. If you want to help me out, bless my face, you can hit that subscribe button at the top, turn on notifications so you will know every single time that I put out a video. If you're interested in making a kitchen island like this one, and this video didn't help you as much as you need, then you can buy plans on my website, thereformationwoodshop.com. I'll put a link down in the description for that. As always, thank you guys so much. You do not know how much your support means to me and my family. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video.